Hey everyone, it's Paulina. So I have a list of 2022 goals. I'm just gonna read through them, give you some ideas, talking about how I'm gonna accomplish them. And then if you wanna see me do my vision board because I've never done one before and I'm super excited, stick around for a bit because I'm just gonna be quickly going through these and going with the flow. <laughs> Okay, so the first one I have on here is to be more organized. I am not the most organized. You don't want to see what's behind all this, but that's self-explanatory. I mention this in every video, but I'm renovating my room soon. So I feel like that's what is motivating me to keep my room clean because I just want to be that person where you walk in the room and everything's nice. <laughs> This one's kind of similar, but I put put up clean clothes as soon as they're out of the dryer because I feel like those are two completely different things being organized and not putting my clothes up because my room can be clean, but there's like a pile of clothes in the corner of my room that is just not put up. So, and sometimes I even leave those for like a week or two and it just became a bad habit. But yeah, hopefully I go through with that. The next one is save more money. I've kind of been having trouble saving money in 2021. I don't know what happened. Like 2020, I was going so good. And then 2021 hit and it's just, I stayed in that same level of money I was throughout the year because I kept spending and gaining and spending and gaining. It just never was a gain because I spent that same amount of money that I would like gain back. Is that, if that makes sense, I don't know. I am planning on saving money and I know a savings account will help because I don't have a savings account, only like a school saving account for college but having my own separate account for a savings account i feel like will really help so if you want to do something like that there's an idea like i'm such a genius the fifth goal that i have on here is to stay on top of schoolwork i took this semester off by the way if y'all didn't know because i recently graduated community college and i was like okay i'm just gonna take the semester off i've been really overwhelmed i graduated with an associate's degree in arts so i felt really accomplished there i just knew i was gonna be more stressed and unhappy if i continued like straight into university so i took the semester off and it really helped but i know i'm gonna be stressed i feel like the way i'm gonna do that is to not procrastinate and i know that's hard i remember the way that i did it was pretending that a deadline was like a day or two before so i can do it without rushing or stressing and it helps but i don't know i'll figure it out once i get settled okay this next one is really top notch i gotta pay attention to it because i have been slacking in that part my next one is working out consistently and eating healthier and more protein i was doing really good because me and my older sister work out together it was summer up until november of last year where we were working out consistently taking the proper breaks but not eating as much protein as we should have so in 2022 i am hoping to get back on working out and just eating healthier and eating more protein because we're like okay yes we're working out out, but are we seeing a big change because we see a change in our body you know a slight change nothing drastic that i feel like people wouldn't notice not that i want people to notice but i do <laughs> i'm definitely gonna get back on that just finding recipes eating protein shakes whatever helps the next one is learning to say yes and no only when I mean it. I've had trouble with this for a long time. I feel like people who are very non-confrontational, they don't like to oppose what other people want. They just want to make everyone happy and not be mad at them. So I feel like me, I need to work on that. That's that. I just need to push myself out of my comfort zone and learn to say yes or no only when I mean it. The next one is take chances. I'm someone who is a little scaredy cat. So if it's something out of my comfort zone, I get a little hesitant, but I feel like I can work on that because I'm striving, I'm growing, she's blooming. And I feel like it's gonna be so much easier for me to take chances. I definitely feel like I'm ready for that because I've been more outgoing as the years pass because I used to be really shy. Like if you knew me in high school, middle school, that's not me anymore. Definitely gonna be working on that. This next one I'm kind of scared to do only because I don't see my potential. I low-key am underestimating my skills, but it's to become a plant mom and get closer to nature. The closer to nature part I can do easily, but becoming a plant mom, you see, I have one plant. That's it. The rest that you see around my room are fake. The reason why I have one is because I'm just scared that I'm going to kill it. It hasn't died she's thriving she's cute and i don't know why i'm scared to get more because i feel like that plant is just easy to take care of i am also lazy doing research don't want to buy all these like things like plant food fertilizers all that stuff but i know i need to i'm gonna try my best to become a plant mom of three and see how that goes the next one is find a new hobby or continue an old one. I used to be very into painting, drawing, photography, and I feel like all of that has just faded. I'm more focused on YouTube now and I 
that's just not enough. The one thing that I want to get back to is sewing because I have a sewing machine. I just don't have a desk right now. A desk that's supposed to be right here, by the way. As soon as I get the desk, I'm going to get back on it. Just practice, practice, practice and see how that goes. Also want to get back into painting and I want to start crocheting. I always thought like little crochet tops, bucket hats, even the little stuffed animals, like those are the cutest things ever. So definitely going to try that. The next one, I don't know if I can do it, is reading books. I have not read a proper book since freshman year of high school, I think. I didn't even used to hate reading. Like sometimes it would be interesting if I found a good book, but it's just not my thing. I don't know how I can get into it. So if any of you book people know a good book for new readers, please let me know. And then this one is just to be present in the moment. I feel like I just not get stuck on the past, but worry about the future. Sometimes I reminisce, you know, that's normal. But I'm more focused on the future rather than just to be present and let things happen. But there's nothing wrong with like planning stuff either. But I feel like I'm constantly being like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to travel. I can't wait to do this, this and that. But I don't set my mind into it. And then I'm just stuck. Instead of being like, I want to travel. I want to do this, this and that. I can be like, how do I start traveling? How do I start doing this? And go from there. And my last one is to stay motivated and radiate positive energy. Trying to stay motivated is the hardest thing to do as a human. I feel like once you crack out of your lifestyle, it just goes downhill from that. I know there's different ways to stay motivated, so I'm going to try my best to self-discipline myself and stop procrastinating on things that I want to do. So if y'all see me slacking, say something, please. <laughs> and of course, radiating positive energy, that's all around. I feel like I've always lived by that, especially with my motto, love above all else. Ew, that sounded corny, but <laughs> yeah, but I feel like there's like no reason to always have a negative mindset i'm not saying to not be like sad or mad and stuff like those are emotions but constantly looking at things in the negative way just doesn't help and obviously sometimes it's hard to do i feel like i just have to tell myself instead of this isn't the way that i wanted it to turn out i could be like this wasn't the way i wanted it to turn out but it's motivating me to try harder that's all i gotta say i don't want to go too much into detail because we still got to do something else we still got to do the vision board i'm so excited because i've never done it and i'm really excited i'm not even gonna look at templates i'm not gonna see how other people do it because i want to try to do it how i would do it without looking at other inspiration so let's go ahead and do it okay she's constantly focusing i'm sorry if it's out of focus we're going into pinterest and i don't know how this is gonna go it's really scary but i'm gonna try to do a mood board that can fit as my wallpaper so i'm constantly looking at it and i know that that's what i need to stick by i've been really wanting to read books for some reason i don't like that book aesthetic <laughs> we're gonna search up everything with aesthetic and it also has to be like the right filter I feel like these are very much library filters. Okay, I like this. I'm finding some, maybe this one. Okay, we have enough. I'm not finding, it doesn't even look, it needs to look appetizing enough for me because then I won't be motivated. And yes, I don't care if I'm putting aesthetic in every single one. I love this, okay. Now I'm finding something, see? It all helps when you put aesthetic in it. Maybe this. And I'm still going to remember to add my own. So now the next one, I want to look up plants because I want to be a plant mom and I need some good plant pictures. And I'm honestly not going for an aesthetic anymore. Like I'm just choosing cute pictures and seeing how they're going to work well together. And if they don't, I'm going to cry. This is cute. I like that. This is cute. Okay, I'm downloading that. This one's really cute. Okay, and then I'm gonna put organizing. Let's see what that does. Ooh, that's cute. Why is it so dull? Like, it has no color. I want color. <laughs> okay, I don't want to get too many pictures because I think I know how I want to organize it. So the next one, I guess I'll do fashion. And maybe like the last thing that I'm gonna do is like positive vibes like some spiritual stuff i have literally a board i don't know why i'm trying to struggle but i have a board for that I follow my pinterest no i'm kidding <laughs> this is really cute cute seas we're gonna go for more of what i want i've been really into like long sleeves and off the shoulder just showing your collarbone type of looks i think they're super elegant and very cute there's me not me adding myself to pinterest anyways <laughs> Let me do some spiritual quotes, maybe. Sometimes they're not aesthetic and that really bothers me for some reason. Actually, I have like a spiritual board as well. <laughs> Everything's organized in my Pinterest, so if you want to go ahead and follow it, do that because she's a vibe. See, this is the one. 
It will only affect you if you let it affect you. Maybe even this, 10 things to be grateful for. Okay guys, the 10 things you should be grateful for, I'm reading it now. Your favorite tea slash coffee, tasty food, your favorite book, health, the moon, gotta love the moon, a cute mushroom, your favorite song, life, um, house plants, which I need, and the sun. So there you go. I think I have some pretty good things, so I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly do the vision board and you'll probably see how it's done. I'll tell you what app I used and just the templates and screenshots, so let me do that in a peaceful setting and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'm done. So let me show you my thought process for my vision board. I started off with this. It's just nine pictures out of all the other ones that I chose. I felt like they went really well together, but it wasn't really me because I'm not much of a structured person and this felt very structured and it's only like nine pictures and it's just like a small template straight across and down. So here's what I ended up with. It's much better, feels much more like me. I'm not someone who lets like little edges bother me, so I was okay with some cuts here and there. I am really happy with this one and I'm gonna put it as my wallpaper right now. I just know it's gonna motivate me because top left is the organized room, healthy food is in there, some motivational quotes and books, plants, fashion, and just all around me because I really like the color greens and beiges so this just feels right for me. There it is, I'm very excited. It's my first vision board so I feel like that is a good accomplishment. There we go. There she is! Isn't that so freaking cute? Hold on. I am gonna love it, so super excited. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. I really hope you got some ideas. And Happy New Year's! I hope this year's a good one for all of us. Sending all love and positive energy. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day. Bye!